Hello and welcome to Stotch Ross Maths key skill video on completing the square for quadratics of the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a is negative. Now in a previous video we saw how we could complete the square when we had a number in front of the x squared that wasn't 1. So for example this might have been 2x squared plus 8x plus 3 and we saw examples like that where we wrote it in this form. So this is the completed square form. The only difference here is that that number in front of the x squared, the coefficient of the x squared as we call it, could be negative here. So minus 1 here, minus 2 here. But the method remains exactly the same. So the first thing to do is to get it in this form, so summing x squared plus summing x plus something. That already is something x squared plus something x plus something with the x squared term first, then the x term, then the non-x term or the constant term as we call it. So let's just copy that out. And then remember the next step, we just factorise out the number in front of the x squared out of the first two terms. So factorise coefficient of x squared, the number in front of it, out of the first two terms. So the x squared term and the x term. So if we do that, we factorise out the minus 2. And that's going to give us x squared and then minus 2 times what? is plus 8x, well minus 2 times minus 4 will give you 8, and then you've still got the x. And we still have this plus 3 on the end, we can just leave it alone. Then the second step is to complete the square inside the bracket. So, inside this bracket here, I'm just going to copy what I have outside of it, I'm going to complete the square. Now remember to complete the square, we just halve the number in front of the x. And so we write x with an open bracket, x half of minus 4 is minus 2. We close the bracket, square it, and then do you remember, because if you were to expand this, you'd get x squared minus 4x plus 4. We've got the x squared minus 4x, we don't want that plus 4 here, so we have to minus 4. So remember, you just square that number, the minus 2 squared is 4, and then you subtract whatever that number is. So you always have minus and then whatever that number is squared. And then the final step is to expand the outer brackets. So we do the minus 2 times the x minus 2 squared, which is minus 2 x minus 2 squared. We do the minus 2 times the minus 4, which is positive 8. And then we've also still got that plus 3, which is outside the brackets. And then finally, we just tidy up a bit. We get 8 plus 3, which is 11. And it might be nicer because we don't like starting a expression with a negative term at the start, so we might put the positive term first to get that. And then the second one, uh, as per the, the advice before, we write it in the form summing x squared plus summing x plus something. So let's put that minus x squared term first. I'm going to put a 1 on the front because minus x squared is the same as minus 1x squared. We've got the plus 6x and then we've got the plus 4. And then we do exactly the same as we did before. So step one is to factorise whatever number is on front of the x squared, the coefficient of it, out of the first two terms. These are the first two terms. So we factorise out the minus 1 there. We put a bracket. And that's going to be x squared. And minus 1 times what is this? Well, minus 1 times minus 6 gives you the positive 6. And we've still got the x there. Step two, we complete the square inside the bracket. So let's copy everything outside the bracket first. Remember, we open a bracket, x, and then we halve that number, the minus 6, in front of the x, so minus 3 squared. We square that number, so the minus 3 squared is 9, and throw it away, so minus 9. And then the third step is to expand the outer bracket. So we have minus 1 times x minus 3 squared, which is minus 1 x minus 3 squared. We have minus 1 times minus 9, which is plus 9. And we still got that plus 4 there, minding its own business. And then the 9 plus 4 is just 13. And I'm going to put the 13 first, so we have the positive term first. 13 minus, now we don't need that one, so I'm just going to leave it out, x minus 3 squared. And that is the final answer.